open my. So now I'm going to open my project file. DPK. There's my Travers. Now then, I want to go to File, Import, and this time instead of Import Coordinates, we need to go Merge Coordinates. So I'm going to Merge, go back to the H, find uh, Doug.zak this time, instead of Job, say OK. Do you want overwrite protection? Well, yes, we want it because we don't want to change the coordinates of our monuments. So I'm going to say yes. It says point 11 already exists, so I'm going to say skip. 12 already exists, okay? And you will have to do that at least four times because you have four monuments entered. The rest of the data is now, if I go to edit coordinates, I have two trees and all four coordinates. So, now I want to plot trees, and this is also something that we've done the other day. I want to get rid of the number. Go to dot, change that to large tree. I like big trees. We don't need any bearing and distance because we're not going to inverse between them. And now I'm ready to plot those as the specified symbols. So I go to points menu, plot point. I can either highlight them or I can write a point string up here and say accept and there's the two trees we shot they're just outside the quad since I have a 15 by 14 foot quad they would land that way so there's my two trees so if I want to plot something else I simply go back in and change it from tree to oh I can make this traverse points or what have you inlets, culverts, power poles, whatever I want to change it to. You want to change your endpoint symbol before you plot the points, otherwise they're going to all look like trees. Now if I have point numbers here and I want to convert them to a different symbol, I've gone in here to change this to a traverse point. So if I type in GP for get point, then I can click, I have a little target square with a dot. I put the dot where I think the point is. It says point 14. I say accept it. It gives me a big traverse point. Now yours won't look this big because your quad is bigger than 15 feet square. Then I can cancel that. Now since I have such a miniature quad, I can change these symbols down to something, whoops, that is more acceptable in size. And I can change it. If I think my trees are too big, I can make one tree smaller. But when I do that, I do need to move it back to its original location. Then I might have a mammoth tree and I may want to make it very large so I can actually explode it some. So that's how you uh, merge coordinates from one file to another. In a blank file, you just import coordinates. And that's it.